Yo, this is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Rio Room Show, and I'm down in my work shed. Well, it's actually, it's turning into my storage shed, and I definitely got to clean some stuff out of this shed. Well, it's actually a garage, tiny garage, that was never a garage, because in my, even my little foreign car wouldn't fit in it and be able to get out of it. Anyway, that, I digress. We're going to do some more testing on this MFJ226 impedance analyzer. And today we're going to check a couple of things. We're going to check my outside antenna that comes into my workshop. All this is is about 25 feet of wire with um, the coax connected at one end and brought into my workshop. That's all it is. Nothing fancy. And uh, I'm going to see where it's resident. Resident? Res residence. Whatever. Um, in the shortwave band. If at all. So, move these out of the way. Oh, by the way, I bought another adapter this week. Unfortunately, I have to use the adapter that came with the analyzer that takes you from an in connector to this kind of connector and then this adapter attaches to that and then gives you one of those these SMA adapters which the newer um, amateur radio, radio handheld transceivers are using this MSA M, no M, excuse me, S-M-A, yeah, hmm, anyway, and so I was going just for kicks, try a couple other antennas, anyway, so let's hook up this guy right here, and I'll zoom in the camera a little bit, and maybe you can see the display, and maybe not, let's see, where's the little zoom button, that's the wrong way, so, do 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 where are we? It's back out a little bit. Okay, that'll do, I guess. So I'm gonna turn it on. I've got the antenna hooked up. And it's on. And I'm gonna do sweep frequency mode. And I'm gonna check SWR. There's a whole bunch of things, like I said before, you can check impedance, resistance, reactance, return loss. Phase angle, Smith chart, all those things I know I don't know anything about. I know I know SWR. Okay, so here we go. SWR. Dun, 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 dun. And it's running. And we're gonna change the frequency because I've been playing with those other antennas. So let's change the start to two megahertz. Enter and the end to 30 megahertz inner and now what we're, we'll see what was doing wow uh, this thing's resonant at a couple of different frequencies let's see if we can go find them okay there's one 4.22 megahertz probably if I did the math and you I'll leave that as an exercise for the viewers um, I can say it's approximately 25 feet long and it's and it's just a piece of wire and it's resonant at 4.22 megahertz and the SWR is about 1.77 pretty good that's another resonance let's move up do, 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 do. there's a big peak right there it's a 20 on the SWR scale and that's at 7.77 megahertz. Let's click at this other low SWR. Whoops, I went past it. No, nope, right there. That's a 1.25 SWR at 10.44 megahertz. Another good frequency. And let's see, it goes back up to about 7, 9, 11, 13 megahertz at 15, excuse me. 13 SWR at 15.11 megahertz. I don't know if this display is showing up. It's probably not. 
Uh, and we've got another low spot here out at 20 megahertz, 2.16 SWR. So that's not a bad antenna based on these SWR readings. Again, um, SDR readings are just another indication. Don't take them for 100% gospel. Okay, so we're going to shut this off. So my little uh, antenna, just a long wire antenna, is doing pretty good. Now what I could do, well, I can't do it because I can't get up in the, on the roof again to get that antenna. What, what I could have done is when I was putting that antenna up and determining the length, I could have this thing running and adjust the length and see how it affects the SWR and probably want to tune it for a low SWR on my favorite band which is 31 meters. So I could have done that if I'd have had this. I don't didn't have this. They didn't even make these back when I put the antenna. That antenna is about 30 years old. Everything I got is old, including me. Okay. So now we're this for this is for grins cuz I don't think this is a reasonable test. But I'm going to plug this adapter on. So now we got two adapters. That's a big variable. And I'm going to take this. I think it's it's got a name on it. N-A-G-O-Y-A, -A, which is supposed to be pretty good antennas for the uh, Bofang radios. But I don't think this is an original. I think this is a knockoff. Um, so you can see the antenna there. It's pretty long. It's supposed to be good for two meters and uh, 70 centimeters or 440 megahertz, which is the two amateur radio bands you're allowed legally to transmit on one of those Bofang radios. So I'm going to put this on there. Again, this is just for grins. Any results? that I get from this it's a treat with a grain of salt. Number one is I believe when you hook these antennas to the Bofang handheld radio that gives you kind of a ground plane. Well, maybe not a ground plane, but it, it helps match the antenna better when it's actually connected to the radio. Okay. Right, just for grins, what the heck, we're going to try it. So let's turn this on and see if it gives me anything. We're going to do uh, sweep frequency and we're going to do SWR. And now we're going to uh, change the band because this is really made for a VHF, UHF. This meter will go up to 230 megahertz, so it won't go to the 440, but it will cover the 2 meter band, and which is about 144 to 146. So let's go in and put the start at 140. Well, maybe even go lower than that. Let's do 100. Whoops. Okay, go back. Start at, say, 130. Enter. And then we'll do the stop at 160, say 160. This is for the heck of it. Enter. Boom, there is plotting. Okay, now what this is showing, I don't know, you know, you can't really take this to the bank as far as how valid it is. What it's showing is this thing is starting at 130 megahertz. The SWR increases, and let's see how high it goes. And I set this to a max sweep to 160, which is where it's still going up, and it's reading 10, 10 SWR, which is not good. And then if I come down to the minimum here, which is at 133, it's 1.74. Now let's go to a frequency that's in that two meter band, like 145 just as an example. 
So let's go up somewhere around 145. 145. 144.999. That's pretty good. That shows an SWR of 3.8. And I'm just going to touch the base of this antenna and see what it does to the SWR. Oh, it flattened it out. Now it's um, 3.5 SWR at 1. Point, excuse me, 145 megahertz approximately. So it's just, you know, just something I wanted to try. Okay, let's turn that off. So this says that, if you can believe it, this antenna is about three SWRs at 145 megahertz. Not that great. You want you really want something less than two. So again, this probably is not representative of how it works when it's on the radio. Okay, we're going to shut this off, and uh, we're going to take. I don't know if I have. No, I don't. I should have brought another. Oh, here's one maybe. Maybe this is one over here. I got junk piled everywhere in this garage. I need to get organized. Okay, this is. This has a BNC connector, right? Is that BNC? I think it is. Yeah, that has a BNC connector. This is antenna off of a two meter Kenwood handy talkie. Let's just see what it does. Again, we're having to use two adapters, so that's going to mess up the results, possibly. But what the heck, you know, this is just for fun. Okay, that's connected up. I don't know if I'm even on camera, but anyway. Okay, we'll turn this on. And we're going to do uh, sweep frequency, enter. SWR, and where I had already set it up for 130 to 160. Um, 145, not so good. It's about a 5.7. Seems to be going down. The SWR seems to be much lower back here at 135. It's a 2, SWR 2, which is pretty good, but it's off frequency. Again, this is not representative of how it will work on the radio with the base of the radio. It's interesting. I thought I saw a jump there for a second when I was moving. You hold my hand on the base of this again. Now, it didn't change that much. So, anyway, this. Just something I thought I would try since I had this meter and see what it did. Anyway, that's uh, that's the um, the show. But just for the heck of it, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to keep babbling here. For the heck of it, I'm going to turn this back on. And I'm going to try one of the other tests. Just for the heck of it. Um, sweet frequency plot. I still want to do that. But this time I'm going to do impedance. Let's just see what the impedance does. Okay, here we go. Same band, 130 megahertz to 160. Hmm, that's interesting. Look at that. Uh, impedance at 135 is about 92. It's varying. It's about 92 ohms. Now let's go up to 145. 145, it's 200. 36 ohms. That's the impedance in this mishmash. No way. Okay, I don't think this is very useful. So I'm going to call it quits. If you enjoyed this show, at least from the entertainment standpoint, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.